Hi, Craig Summers here, naturopath. I'd like to talk about the importance of organics. And just to give you a little example, many, many years ago, they were promoting a product called DDT. And I remember a little jingo or songs that they said, DDT is good for you, it's good for me. Anyway, I was at this garage sale and I came across this magazine. DuPont it says right here on the cover, better living through chemistry. I've heard that before, better living through chemistry. Could that possibly be true all the time? Well, I opened up the magazine to this page on DDT. DDT was a pesticide that they use to kill insects. Just like they're using today in countries around the world, including the United States, they're using pesticides to kill the insects that eat our food. Now, of course, they don't use DDT in the United States anymore, but I believe they're still using it in other countries. And quite possibly, importing that food into the United States that's been sprayed with DDT. I don't believe there's any law against that. Now, if you look at this article, you'll see there's a woman. She's putting DDT into little containers, weighing it out very carefully, and she's not wearing any mask or any respirator, showing how safe it is. But in the next picture, you have a man filling 55-gallon drums with DDT. And, of course, he's wearing a respirator. Now, down in the lower portion here, they have people in the army applying DDT directly to the skin of civilians to protect them from insects. And here they're talking about how DDT saved them from diseases that insects might be spreading. Well, why did they make DDT illegal after a while? And uh, of course, they were promoting it here, better living through chemistry. Well. Let me tell you what happened to some of my relatives. After the Second World War, I had several relatives who were looking for work. And they found that they could buy those 55-gallon drums of DDT from the government as surplus for a very low price. So they, being entrepreneurs, started a business where they would put the DDT into smaller bottles and sell it to people to kill insects around the home. And they even developed a little business where they would go into people's homes and spray DDT around the house to kill any bugs that might be in the house. Similar or just like what they're doing today but using other chemicals. Well there was um, two couples, husband and wife couples. All four of them got very sick and died uh, from exposure to DDT. Some of them it was a rare type of blood disease. Others died of different types of cancer. Some of them died sooner. Some of them died later. But nevertheless, they all died. I have a relative who works for one of the big newspapers writing stories. And she interviewed my aunt uh, shortly before her death about what happened with this whole story with DDT and how they had this business where they made lots of money, but then they all got sick and died. And it was a wonderful story. And she wrote it, and she sold it to the magazine. They wanted to, or the newspaper, whichever it was, they bought this uh, story from her, and they shelved it. It was never published. As what happens with many, many of these uh, stories, you see, these corporations have so much money that if you put out a story about a product that they used to sell, they might sue you. So it's safer for magazines and newspapers to buy these stories up and sell them to the company or, uh, or shelf them than to actually print them for, for you and I to read. So uh, don't be fooled today when they tell you that all these pesticides are safe, spray them around your home, eat pesticide laced fruits and vegetables, that they're safe, they're really not. And just like DDT 
was once thought to be the greatest thing, one of the greatest achievements in, in the uh, whole century. Um, all these pesticides that we're using today will eventually be outlawed because eventually someone will be able to prove the link between these chemicals and the diseases that we're getting today. Thank you for listening. The sun is on the rise, open up your eyes, drink it in.